my name is Ashton Wingate and I am here to show you a few things you may not know about driving a spotter truck when compared to driving a road truck. A few differences you may not realize is that the fifth wheel raises up and down on this truck whereas in a road truck you have to rely on air suspension to raise it up and down. Now you may think this only moves a little bit but it actually moves quite a bit. I would say it moves about this much up and down. Um, often the legs will be like can be that much off the ground if you really wanted to and that really comes in handy when you're dealing with elevation changes. Some things you might not recognize about this fifth wheel is that instead of using air ride suspension to lift it up and down it uses hydraulic suspension whereas you have a lever where if you push this way it goes down. If you pull this way it goes up. Um, some other differences is that when you use that lever you may realize it goes slowly up and down. What makes that easier is that you use the accelerator to help power the hydraulics so that it moves up and down faster. Um, and this helps to move things along when you're trying to get from one trailer to another during the job. Now as I was saying before, there are some differences between using a fifth wheel on a road truck and using a fifth wheel on a spotter truck. Behind me, we have this fifth wheel that's held up by two hydraulic pistons instead of air suspension, which makes it easier to lift trailers off the ground instead of having to crank up the landing gear every time you want to move one. As you were talking about, there are some differences when elevating a fifth wheel on a spotter truck versus elevating a fifth wheel on a road truck. In this truck, I mentioned outside, there is a lever that you use to raise the fifth wheel where, where if you push this way it will lower the fifth wheel so that you can get under low trailers and also when you want to lower a trailer to the ground. If you pull this way and you push down on the accelerator, the accelerator will help the hydraulics push the fifth wheel up so that it can reach trailers that may have been lowered a little bit too high or to lift it up to, to move the trailer across the yard. Now the next thing is this fifth wheel lock control or a fifth wheel button if you want to call it that. Um, in a road truck you normally have either a manual lever that you pull on to release it or you have an electronic button on the dashboard that controls an air release that opens up the fifth wheel jaws. On this truck it is somewhat air controlled but you have to operate a little bit differently whereas you have to have it you have to have your palm down on it with a firm amount of force and make sure that it lets go as you pull away because this this kind of control is rather finicky compared to the control on most road trucks. So now we're going to be showing you what those hydraulics we showed you earlier do when you lift up a trailer. Now we'll show you what happens when you lower the trailer. So as you can see there are a lot of differences between driving a road truck and driving a spotter truck. We covered how the truck moves up and down and the next time when you get into a spotter truck to help garner out you'll know what to do.